Hey and howdy everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink and today we are moving on to tutorial number nine. Today we'll be covering the back of the third page, the fourth page, both the front and the back, as well as the front of the fifth page. So let's dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next page. So we're going to have to do another couple cuts for these and we're going to have to choose some various papers. So for this, for this, this and this, we're just going to use our coordinating cardstock, so the cream colored in this case. And then for this, I think we can probably make one of these work. So these are cut to six and a half by four and a half. So we can do a layer of our cream colored coordinating cardstock at six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then we can use one of these. You could alternately just use a piece of coordinating um, pattern paper, whichever, you know, floats your boat. So we need to make sure that we pick some coordinating card stocks that work with, you know, kind of all of this. So let me grab what I have here. And so I could use one of these here. And actually I think I might do that. I think I might do this here. some of this here because this kind of goes with this. And then I'm going to use this on this side. And then one. Maybe I'll use that one. All right. For this here, I'm going to see So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and cut my six and a quarter by four and a quarter coordinating cardstock for these. So again, I need one, two, and three. And so let's go ahead and get some of our magnets down and whatnot so we can start getting this organized. Oops. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a magnet inside here. So I need a set of magnets for that. And then I'm going to put one here to make sure that this stays with this unless we deliberately open it. So I need one set for that. And there's a broken magnet. And then I'm also going to put 
a set here because I want to make sure this stays with this. And I think that should be plenty to keep all of these components closed well. Okay, so we have some going on there. We're gonna need a couple on here. So one set for each side, and then we're going to need another set for the full page that we have going on here. There we go. So, I know that I want to put this on here, so I'm going to cut this down. And again, they're four and one eighths, so we need to cut it to three and seven eighths. And we're going to be cutting a little tiny bit off. So what I'm going to do, because at the end, we're actually losing A quarter inch off of this so I, I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm gonna trim this tiny little bit off here and this should be roughly the right size three and seven eighths and three and seven eighths. So let's make sure that we get this, you know, right. So this goes on here like this, and this goes on here like this. So this will be six and a half, and this is just shy of the eight and a quarter. So it looks like it's about Probably the eight and one eighth, eight and one sixteenth. So <coughs> I'm going to cut this to six and a quarter. So this is going to go here. Right after I cut the smidgen off of this, I'm going to cut about an eighth off. And the reason I'm not gluing all of this down yet is because I want to make sure that it's all, you know, working together color-wise and whatnot before I glue everything down. Because I don't want to glue it down and then realize that I didn't like the colors together or whatever. So this is looking pretty good. I might use this one on the underside. I just put plain because this is just so busy otherwise. So I'm going to grab another piece of my coordinating cardstock. And I am going to cut it to six and a quarter. And then I am going to trim it down to seven and seven eighths. Because remember, we trimmed an extra eighth off of that. And these sheets are eight inches. This is eight and a half. So this should go, yeah. So I think I'm going to put this under here. Put that like that. And then I'm going to put this here. And then it's not nearly so busy. And there's only a little bit of this showing through, so I think this works. So now I just have to find what I want to put on these. Now I'm going to use some of this. And I think I might use it for both. So 
I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it to about two and a half. And I'm going to cut two pieces because I'm going to do one for either side. And I'm going to, so two and a half and two and a half, that are my extras. I'm going to put this to the side for now, and remember, we still need to do the insides of these and the inside here. Okay, so now we have these. So that is everything for this page. So that's all done. Now for this, we are going to need a page cut for here and a page cut for here. And they don't really have to correspond with each other. So <laughs> let's take a look. I am the messiest crafter, I swear. For cut to four and one eighths, so we need to cut them to three and seven eighths, which isn't quite half. So three and seven eighths. And three and seven eighths. So there's one side. And then I want to use these. So I'm going to cut the majority of this blue off. And then I'm going to see where I'm at with the three and seven eighths. So that's pretty, pretty close, I think. There we go. So now we have the other page. So we need pages for in here, and we want to try and make sure that we're kind of matching them to 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 this. going to do that. So the only thing that we have left are these and you have a couple of options for them. You can use, I mean you can use a coordinating cardstock, um, so like I could use some of my cream which is probably what I'm going to do. <coughs> um, you can also use something from your, you know, scraps. But I'm going to keep mine plain because I don't want to detract from this. So we need to cut those to one and three quarters by one and a half. So I'm just going to grab and I have quite a bit of, you know, So I'm just going to cut one and a half and one and a half. And you're going to need four of these, obviously, because there's two of them and you have to do each side. So there's them all cut to one and a half and then I need them cut to one and three quarters. Quarters. So 
So there's all of those. And then, if you recall, we used the corner chomper, the scallop one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for all of these. And these are pretty good, so I'm just going to try and do all four or all three. So there we go. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to add some more magnets. So we're going to need a magnet to hold this closed. We're going to need a magnet to hold this closed. And then we're going to need a magnet to hold this down. So. So the next thing that we want to do is choose some papers for, for these. So this and this are just pockets, so we may be able to find some of our um, scraps that might work quite well for these pieces. I think I'm, I'm going to use that. I can use that. I can cut this down. I may... I think I might use that. And then we have these pieces here. So we have... This is four... So this would be four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I'm actually going to use... This one here, and I'm going to back it with some of my coordinating cardstock. And then I'm going to use coordinating cardstock here, and here, and here. So let's get some of this cut. So this should be oops, four and a quarter. Yep, four and a quarter. I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter. Put it on our scrap pile. And that will just go like that. And then this will be four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and I'm going to need two. So 
So this is how it's shaping up so far. two pieces for here. So we already know it's going to be four and a quarter. And I'm going to cut it to six and three quarters. So I'm going to need two of those. So I'm just going to do both of those at the same time. So Six and three quarters by four and a quarter. So those should be the same size. And then I'm gonna grab my machine and so I am gonna go ahead and trim just a little bit off of these. Not a whole lot, just just a little bit. And then this is gonna go on here like so. And then this one will go here. So that's that page. Let's move on to this page. So I'm wondering if I could use one of these that I just cut down. So we could have a little bit of fun. So I could trim a little bit off on each side and then die cut the bottom and I think that would work quite well for that. So that's what I'm gonna do. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and trim about an eighth of an inch off each of the sides. So an eighth of an inch off and an eighth of an inch off. And then I need to make sure that I am die cutting this bottom piece because it's going to sit like this. So we need this part die cut. Okay. So I think this should fit on here. Quite nicely. I think that looks really cute. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to find some paper to go on here and on here. And then this, the inside of these uh, and this is all going to be the coordinating cream colored cardstock. So these are six by six. So six by six. So we need to cut three pieces of coordinating cardstock to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So let's start with the easy thing. And then we'll need to pick one coordinating paper for the base. And kind of liking this one. Goes nicely. So this goes nicely with the flowers on this, but it adds an extra bit of blue. And then we need a paper to go on there. I'm thinking, uh, maybe not. Oh, 
let's go with this one. So we need to cut this to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So that is all of what we need for, oh, and we also need to cut a piece of the coordinating cardstock for here. So we're going to cut that to five and three quarters by about four. And then we have to die cut it. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of this stuff glued down. All right, so that was the end of tutorial number nine. For tutorial number 10, we are gonna move on to the back of the fifth page, the sixth page, both the front and the back, and the inside back cover. So stay tuned. As always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.